What's going on guys, Motley here, bringing you a Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle against Vincent, one of my followers on Twitch. For those of you who don't know, I stream on Wednesdays from 6 to 8 p.m. and Sundays from 3.30 to 5.30, and you guys are welcome to come by, uh, challenge me to a battle, that's where I take most of my battle requests. So let's go ahead and look at these teams here, I'm bringing Rotom, Talonflame, Tyranitar, Gengar, Azumarill, and Mamoswine. So, um, yeah, so last week's team was really defensive, so I decided to bring a much more aggressive team this week. Um, but even more aggressive is my t my opponent Vincent's team. He's got the Dragonite, Donphan, Gengar, Talonflame, Greninja, and Venusaur. So we both have Gengar and Talonflame, which is pretty cool. Um, his team is very aggressive. Uh, he has a defensive Dom fan, uh, but I don't see anything that's specially defensive. The the Venusaur is going to be pretty tanky, um, I'm sure. So yeah, this this one is obviously going to be pretty quick comparatively because our teams are so aggressive. So let's just go ahead and start that battle. And so I was really deciding if I wanted to lead with Talonflame for to have U-turn available or Rotom and have Volt Switch available. And I eventually decided that Rotom was better against everything on his team except for Venusaur, where I would have wanted to have Talonflame, but he does lead with the Venusaur. No! Um, <laughs> so that's that's too bad for me, because I, um, I was so close to picking Talonflame first, and then he would have just been forced to switch, and I, that would have been nice, but um, I just go ahead and get the Volt switch off, uh, in case he does want to switch. So I was really hoping that he didn't have some speed investment to outspeed my Rotom, and then like murder me with a Giga Drain or an Energy Ball. But he didn't, and he goes for the Elite Seed. Um, that's fine. Shouldn't do, you know, that's not very much damage to Talonflame, and there's no way he's gonna stay in because he can't take a bra uh, Banded Brave Bird at all. That will murder him. So he switches out um, to Dragonite, which is an interesting switch to me. I probably would have predicted him to go into the Dawn Fan, but um, I do go ahead and get the U-turn off so that I can. Uh, break his multi-scale. For those of you who don't know, Dragonite's ability multi-scale, when he's at f full HP, has to be exactly full HP, uh, the next attack that hits him will only do half damage, so it lets you uh, run a safe, a little bit safer setup set. So I bring out Mamoswine, scare him off with an Ice Shard, he will get murdered by an Ice Shard if he stays in, so he doesn't. He switches out to the Venusaur, predicting the Ice Shard, since he's mega evolved and his new ability is Thick Fat, which halves damage from ice and fire attacks. Um, he wouldn't have taken much from the Ice Shard, but I do go ahead and just get up my Stealth Rocks, uh, predicting the switch, and here I bring out the Tyranitar. Uh, this is an offensive Tyranitar though, so it doesn't take the Energy Ball too, very well at all. Um, I was thinking with the, uh, with the Sandstorm boosting my Special Defense, that maybe I could take that a little bit better, um, but it doesn't work out too well. So I Mega Evolve, uh, you know, to get the boost in defense uh, special you know just the boost in base stats and then I go for a dragon dance and right now I'm just really hoping that I'm gonna be able to kill him with a stealth rock <laughs> I, I'm sorry with a, a stone edge uh, he goes for another energy ball um, my special defense wasn't boosted as much as I hoped it would <laughs> it's just not really working out for me so well so I go for the stone edge and I'm like please just kill him just kill him and it doesn't do too much even with plus one so um i mean i did take a nice chunk out of the venusaur but uh i was really hoping for my mega to do kind of more than that you know so um he's he's gonna die to the sandstorm so uh I'd, venus other than venusaur the thing that i definitely want in here is the rotom now this is a kind of risky play that i probably should have done differently but i wanted to have rotom in so i go i went for the uh hydro pump so that i could stay in if I had missed that Hydro Pump, though, he could have hit me with an Energy Ball and done a huge chunk of damage. But, um, that's okay. I didn't miss it. So, uh, Dragonite comes in, takes damage from the Stealth Rocks. He goes for an Outrage. Now, I'm a pretty tanky little Rotom, so that does more than half, though. And I miss my Will-O-Wisp. Which is terrible, because that would have, uh, half the damage that his, uh, Outrage does. But... Outrage is a move that locks you into it, you can't switch, and you can't stop outraging while you're outraging. So, um, Outrage is a dragon attack, and Azumarill is a fairy, and hey, fairies are immune to dragons because of, like, magic and 
I, I don't understand why I <laughs> what the reasoning is, but uh yeah, anyway, so bring in Azimarill. Um I'm not messing around. I don't I while well, he's still got the Talon Flame and uh and the Dragonite on his team, I'm thinking I shouldn't belly drum, I should just go for attacks. And yeah, that wouldn't have done too much to the Dragonite, but um I didn't think he would stay in being confused and whatnot. So uh I thought he was gonna bring in the Dawn Train, which is why I went for the waterfall. But he brought in the Talon Flame, which is great, so I just get to kill that on the switch. Uh, Donphan takes the waterfall even without um, without his sturdy, so that surprised me. But he does he is able to get off the rapid spin and get rid of the stealth rocks that I put up earlier. Uh, he gets his leftovers recovery, and I got kind of greedy here. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, let's do it. Let's let's go for the zoom roll switch. Talon, uh, sweet Talon flames out of the way. His team's really frail, uh, so I go for the belly drum, which cuts my attack in my uh, HP in half, but it maximizes my attack stat, and then I eat my berry, so I get some of my HP back. If he had Roar there, he could have forced me to switch, which would have been really unfortunate, but he doesn't have Roar. He goes for the Earthquake, does a pretty hefty chunk of HP to me, but I am alive. I have plus six attack. I have Aqua Jet with a pr to attack with priority, and I'm thinking, all oh, right, we're in great shape here. He brings out the Dragonite. Um, and he goes for extreme speed, and I'm thinking I might be able to live, but not even close. I think he must have been banded, had the choice band item. So, um, yeah, so that, that murders me. <laughs> but I bring out the Mammoth Swine. Um, I'm going to make the same play again. If he switches, um, if, he's, if he switches, I get the Stealth Rock up. If he doesn't switch, I'm not going to die to an extreme speed. Extreme speed does, what, like a third? <laughs> so uh, I can take two, even, and not really be in too bad of shape. And then finish him off with that Ice Shard. Uh, priority Ice Attack, he's Dragon and Flying. Both of those types are weak to Ice, so he takes four times damage from Ice Shard, and he goes down. Now, of course, his Extreme Speed did go first, um, because Extreme Speed has plus two priority, and Ice Shard only has plus one. So he brings out the Greninja. There's no way I'm going to be able to beat this Greninja with a Mammoth Swine, but I can still just go for the Ice Shard and get a little bit of damage off. Um, now, the reason why I went for Stealth Rocks earlier, instead of just going for an Ice Shard against the Dragonite and preserving Mammoth Swine's HP is because looking at the two Pokemon he has left, he's got the Gengar and the Greninja. Uh, if either of those have a Focus Sash, he has a good chance of actually stopping my Talonflame from finishing off his team, and then I've got to try and kill him with the Gengar, and Gengar versus Gengar, not good, Gengar versus Greninja, not good. So with the, with the Stealth Rocks up, each of his Pokemon that he switches in will take a little bit of damage, and that will prevent uh, Focus Sash from working. So I should have no problem sweeping with the Talonflame, Priority, Brave Bird, Choice Band, Damage, Fast, Kill Things. <laughs> yeah, so there's only two guys left that are really frail, this little ghost guy and the Greninja, and neither of them can take a Brave Bird. Now, I don't know if they were, um, if they had the Focus Sash or not, I never get a chance to find out, but um, I still think that was the right play to, uh, Mammoth Swine wasn't going to be able to, to kill either of those before they could kill him anyway, so... So that's the battle. I want to say thanks to Vincent. And if you guys want to battle, come, go come by to my stream. I'll put the link down below. Um, yeah, and if you want to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, that'd be cool. Um, as my friend Ryan would say, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you guys later.